lifted high, be lifted high. We want to welcome you. It's good to sing. It's good to let praise come out of us. Um, when we do this each week, when we gather together, our intention really is to go on a journey. And we've talked about this a little bit before. But um, if you're new to STF, I want to just say a special welcome to you. Thank you for joining us. And this journey that we, we, we go on, it, it's, it's a very kind of biblical, it's off a biblical model of way, the way the temple was laid out with, you know, the outer courts and the inner courts. You know, in, in Psalm 100, it says, we enter his gates with thanksgiving and praise. And then, you know, in, in the way the temple was laid out, there was this place of atonement. And it was a pretty gruesome place back in Old Testament times because that was where they sacrificed the animals and, and you know, uh, we now know that Jesus became the ultimate sacrifice, the Lamb of God, as he is described in Scripture. And he became that so that then we can continue on that progression. And then we can then go to a very intimate place with God, and a special intimate place with God in the Holy of Holies, because now the veil has been torn because of that sacrifice that Jesus made. And, you know, we see this when Jesus was talking with his disciples and they said well how should we pray we kind of see that that model where he says you know he says he's basically talking saying god hallowed be your name that's the uh, that's the praise that's the that's the start of the progression the journey he says our father in heaven hallowed be your name your will be done you know it, it, and it goes on this journey this progression and then it talks about this element of like, forgive us, we need that forgiveness. And we can only receive that forgiveness through the atonement, through the atoning work of Jesus Christ. And then it goes on to, sort of, to say, you know, glory to you, God. And it talks about this in, in, in the Lord's Prayer. He's teaching us that model, that there's almost like this, this protocol in approaching God. You know, Jesus is not our homeboy. <laughs> He is the God of the universe, and we should approach him with reverence and awe. Amen? And so when we do that, when we gather in worship, can we do that? Can we come with that reverence and that expectation that we're going to, through praise and through what he has done for us on the cross, as we're going to sing about in a moment, that we can go to a very intimate place with him? Because it's that place when we are in his very presence it's the most safe place, it's the most sacred place, it's the most holy place. That's where transformation takes place. And our hope and our desire is that when we worship, we are transformed because we are in his presence. Amen. So let's pray and then we will continue on that journey together. Lord, we thank you for what you've done with us. Father in heaven, hallowed be your name today. Let your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven, Lord. We thank you for how you provide for us, Lord. Give us today our daily bread, Lord, and forgive us where we need it, where we need forgiveness. Thank you for the cross that brings about forgiveness in our lives. Lord, yours is the kingdom today, the power and the glory. Lord, we address you personally because we are in relationship with you. And we love you today. And we just simply say, Lord, have your way. May your will be done in our lives on this day, in this moment. Speak to us, Lord. Restore us where we need it. Renew us. Give us hope where we feel hopeless. We praise your name today. The highest name above all names. And it's in that name that we pray today. Amen. Grace holds me now. Grace holds me now. God, we thank you for that truth. That we're not standing here on our own. That we're held in your grace. We are secure in your arms, God.
because death has no hold anymore. God, you're so good. You're sovereign and you're faithful. And we praise you today for those, those truths that we've been singing today, God. I'm so grateful for this time that we've had to collectively come together and worship you all together with one voice. It's so beautiful when two or more are gathered and we sing your name. And I pray we never take it for granted, Lord. God, would you speak to us tonight or to this morning through Chris, Chris, God. Thank you so much. We praise your name. Amen. Amen. You guys can take a seat and direct your attention to the screen.